Hi guys, welcome back to Hit Point in and a little Happy New Year. Um, we are going to be playing a new playthrough of Bannerlord, uh, this time on the official patch 1.2.8, because it's finally out of beta. Uh, so we skip the uh, initial cutscene, because I've seen it so much that uh, I am fed up with it. Yes, this will be on YouTube. And we are going to continue... With a em well, so the plan is are we're going to be going through an empire campaign, and we're going to try to make a uh, empire faction that's going to be uniting the other empire factions that will afterwards conquer the world, and we're going to try to go for a full big brain build, so practically a, a character that's going to be providing all of the combat stats. With a small little exception, I'm also I'm going to be giving me a small little bonus to sword because we do want to make sure that we're capable of winning the tournament. Uh, one of the things that the beta patch brought to the official um, patch of the game most recently, 1.2.8, is they've uh, reworked the AI and uh, they made melee combat much more difficult. So they're uh, the. AI is better skilled than melee now. That's the idea. So we're going to go with an empire dude. Uh, female or male? Nah, let's stick to male for now. Alright, let's see. Give me a randomize all. Well, that's fine. Yeah, I'm actually going to go for a normal height person for once. Sure, let's go with that. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's become a bit more... There. Weight is fine, build is fine. We're just going to be average on everything, except the voice. Hello, Charles Priest. What's up, man? Raise the ladders. That's fine. Okay, uh, in terms of mustache and hair, we're going to be doing a quick modification. Let's see, I'm going to be getting the glory No, No, something incredibly empire, incredibly Roman. Something that yells, I've been in the empire since I was born. No. No. Nay. Ah. Uh, this one could work. Nah. Yeah, this one. All right, we're, we're going with that one. And... Yeah, let's go blonde. Looks like he smells great. Thanks. With maybe a little stumble. Let's see. Probably going to be getting just a little bit of something down below. What in the hell is that? What in tarnation is that abomination at the back of the beard? That is weird. Mm-hmm. Sideburns. This could also work. Alright, can I make that go away? I cannot make that go away. Oh, good lord. Okay, it went away when I selected brunette. Oh, okay. It went away now. Uh, that was weird. Alright, and then in terms of eyes... Let's go with the eye color... Sure, something like that. Alright, that's gonna be the dude. Uh, no markings, no tattoos, we Gucci. That is going to be our character next. Okay, so the idea will be uh, to go for a character that is going to be maxing out social and cunning. Uh, last time I, I was thinking of going social into intelligence, but I think cunning is going to be much more useful because of the uh, tactics and roguery. Fix and rework, so that should be good. 
Um, besides that, I'm also going to be putting, I think, three points in one-handed. We'll see. Hey, baby. Happy New Year to you, too. Something scary happened. A family on my street all died of a mysterious head injury, and you live a stone's throw from their house. Ah, because they've died from a stone's throw to the head. Okay. A little bit dark to start the year, but sure. Ha ha. Funny. How you doing, BB? How are the holidays? Let's see what we can get. So again, our focus is going to be into social, cunning afterwards, and then third, we're going to be getting intelligence. We're going to try to max that out with just a few points into one hand, which I'm probably going to be putting into at level one, two, and three, or maybe two, three, and four. We'll see. We'll see. For now, let's see what our parents are going to be. As I said, I'm going to be focusing first on social with the prio. Okay, it's a little bit of a delay. I'm not as I'm sure why. You're recovering economically from buying all the Christmas gifts? Same. Same, dude. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you, yeah. And we'll never financially recover from this. I agree. Alright, social's giving us some charm and some trade. Endurance. Intelligence. Forester, but it's giving us control. And Urban Vagabond is giving us throw. It'll take two months at least. Yeah, around that ballpark as well. For me, maybe three months, but and with a little bit of a uh, little bit of um, extra tightening of the uh, the grip, you know, tightening the purse. We'll see. So I think the only option for me is going to be going for social. So my parents were urban merchants. Let's go with that. All right. As a child, I was adorable. Come on, give me a smile, kid. There it is. I don't know. Your your face looks like that, like that of a cat. Stupid, you pay six months in advance for insurance. Yeah, I just pay insurance when it needs to be paid. <laughs> All right. So cunning. Aptitude for numbers is social. You're away with people. That's going to be giving us our first point into leadership. Okay, that's good. I'm still on the fence about medicine. I kind of want to be the one in charge of medicine, but we'll allow we'll allow a companion. We're just going to be uh, opting into that last. And then by the time we opt into that, we're going to be um, late game, hopefully, and it's going to be leveling up like... Uh, Wildfire. It's a little like a cat, though, which is weird. Control three. Uh, with the alley gang, and that is going to be giving us cunning and sword. That's not a bad idea. It's going to be giving us roguery, which will, which we will want to level up eventually. I don't know if I'm going to be putting points into scouting. I might let let somebody else provide the scouting. When's the first episode being uploaded? I don't know. I'll try in a few days from now. In one to two days. In the markets and caravans. What's your tutors? What's your tootsies? It's probably going to be in the markets and caravanaries. I'm just going to be getting this. To get this further up. And then I'll select the first levels to specialize a little bit to the sword. And just decide exactly... Until where do I upgrade my sword? I just want to be capable of defending and winning tournaments by myself. Because right now, with with an attempt with um, 18 skill into sword on my last playthrough, it was very, very difficult to win tournaments. And I don't want it to be that difficult with the reworked AI. Happy New Year to you two, RZ. How you doing, man? All right, as a youngster, we finally evolved from cat to monkey. Great. Again, I'm talking about myself, so I think I'm allowed. Let's see. Trained with the cavalry, stood guard, rode with the scoots. Trained with the infantry, joined the skirmishers, and marched with the camp followers. Uh, that's not helping me. None of these are actually helping me, huh? Endurance, intelligence. No. Joined the skirmishers. Hey, Zerk. Happy New Year. It's going good, man. It's going good. I'm just trying to decide in which I'm, am I going to be specializing. If I go with March with the camp follower, I am going to be getting cunning, which I need. 
But I'm going to be wasting a specialization point into throwing, which I don't need. I don't think I'm going to be going for that anytime soon. Hmm. So. I guess I could really solve the combat problem by just going trained with the infantry. But I'm wasting a attribute point into vigor, which I don't want nor need. Let's go to the guard with the garrison. Robot scouts, vigor control. Sid guard with the garrison is giving me intelligence and giving me a focus point into engineering, which I'm not really going to be leveling until quite a while from now. So let's... Alright, let's get that trained with the infantry bit. Sure, that's definitely going to be giving me enough combat stats to deal with whatever the game's going to be throwing at me. Well, a bit of a waste, but both of those can be useful. Alright, then we defeated enemy in combat. No, let a caravan. Invested some money in a workshop. Which is giving me... Nothing? Oh no, it's giving me intelligence, okay. Survived the siege, famous escapade. And we treated people well. We were not a piece of... Dung. Sure, I'm going to be getting a treat of people well. That's fine. Or survive. No, not survive the siege. Neither endurance. Let a caravan with the cunning. Okay, so let a caravan with the cunning is going to get us started in that direction. And that's going to be giving us the good points into tactics, which we will be leveling up. And our next round of leadership. Yeah, sure, we let a caravan. That's fine. And we are calculating. Good. And then our Bruta. Subdued Raiders, no. Drove them off with arrows, nay. Rode off on a fast horse, no. Tricked the Raiders with our big-brained cunning. Or organize the Travelers to break out. We're going to go organize the Travelers to break out. We're going to get that going. Alright. Now, our name is going to be... Caesar. But I'm going to go with the Romanian version of Caesar, Cesar. Just so we don't make it as obvious. Well, for everyone. There I go. Because we will, in theory, become the Caesar of the Empire. So uh, let's go with that. That's going to be our character's name. All right. Which is actually a real name that is utilized in Romania. Alright, maximum difficulty on everything. Iron Man mode, sure. Enable battle to death for everyone. Good, start the game. Let's boogie. Brother, it's been three days now we've been tracked. This looks like yeah. Deal for the skip, sure skip, that? skip. I am super certain that I wish to skip the tutorial. Thank you very much. I do not wish to go back to training and in a few hours I got this thing. Our family name is gonna be Maximus. That is gonna be the clan name and... Which one was it? I think it was this one that we went for. Okay, we'll go with that one. Give me the color red and gold. That looks fine. We're going to be increasing the size of that symbol. No, we're not going to be Maximus Decimus Meridius. No, no. We're going to be Caesar Maximus for now. All's good. Middle name Panda, but don't we don't talk about that. Alright, so that's going to be our character. The camera angle is a little bit high. You're not entertained? Okay, I think that's a you problem, my man. There, and let's see, how much would I need? So currently I can get my one-handed skill, wink wink nudge nudge, up to 50. I would need probably around 100 to make this happen. Duelist, 20% damage while wielding a one-handed weapon without a shield. Yeah, that's not really going to be happening. Trainer, extra HP, 5% experience. 
arrow catch or shield wall. No, we don't, we don't really want to go to that high. Remove movement speed penalty of wielding a shield. That sounds good. 5% damage with one-handed and captain mode. I know, I know, uh... <laughs> I know it was a reference to the to the movie uh, The Gladiator with Russell Crowe, uh, where he yells, Are you not entertained? Yes, I am aware. But I usually answer seriously when, when it comes to those types of... Questions slash jokes, just to make it awkward. How you doing, my man? Alright, so, I would need... Skull focus is giving me 30, so with one focus point, I'm going to be bringing it to 80. And with another, it's going to be bringing it all the way up to 100, where I can get what? Two extra HP! Sure. We'll do that, and hopefully that's going to be enough to make me win. Uh, besides that, we're going to be adding attribute points to social all the way up to 10. Afterwards, we're going to be putting attribute points into cunning all the way up to 10. And then uh, with the remaining points, if we ever get to that uh, huge level, we're going to be putting, po putting points into intellect. We'll see how it's going to go. I'm going to try to go with a one-handed shieldless build just to, just to play around with the duelist. Why not? And uh, we'll see how that's going to pan out. It's probably going to be horrible, but uh, in theory, we shouldn't be needing to fight all that much. We just need to keep ourselves safe. Sounds very incredibilis. I no, no, it doesn't. Uh, you don't know, man. You don't know. The AI is no joke now. They're uh, quite difficult to beat in tournaments. Plus, we are now when a tournament is won. Uh, no, I'm actually going to go with Viril. Uh, there's going to be a 30% more likely chance to have children. And that's what we're going to be rocking. And then in terms of leadership, let's see. Combat tips plus two experience per day to all troops. Or raise the meek plus four experience per day to tier one and tier two troops. Uh, actually, I'm going to go with combat tips because it's also giving me the party leader skill. So that should be good. They buff the AI. Damn, I should re-download at some point after you're done with the rogue trader. Uh, yeah, yeah. They, uh, they buffed the melee combat. They made it last longer. And they just made the soldiers more skilled at it. Hey, dude. Yeah, 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 I'm planning on reviving my YouTube channel soon. Stay tuned. All right, what type of gear have I received? I've received an iron spada and a short militia spear. Um, we are going to be adding a bow and two quivers of arrows to this mix. And definitely going to be getting a combat mount and not a sumter horse. Let's ride to Poros. For some reason, the game isn't starting for me from Steam. I uh, download fresh and everything. Alas, a problem for another day. Uh, make sure to verify if you're on a beta patch or not. Maybe that's the thing that's uh, causing problems. SPQR. Maybe Steam remembers, Oh, this dude was on the beta patch. Yeah, maybe that's why it's not working. I don't know what, what's with a weird accent. Why Steam has a weird accent, but it does. Hey, Fizzman. Good evening, my dude. Welcome. All right, so trade. Uh, so by tradition, each time I start a new playthrough, I go in the arena to get my ass handed to me, uh, so I can gain a fast second level, and maybe some maybe some free skulls into one handed. I don't have any more questions, but I'd like to participate in the practice fight where we will totally win. All right, let's see. Let's get the rust off. Let's uh, gain some one-handed skill and see how am I handling. I don't know. In the character creation screen, I feel like my hair was a little bit whiter. Not this red, but uh, sure. Well, before the blood, not this uh, brown. But hey, all is good. We can handle. All right, my athletics is now one. I can walk now. Sir? Sir? 
There it is. There it is. Okay, okay, he is ignoring me. I'm gonna walk... Hello, sir. Yeah, I'm gonna let them fight. I'm just gonna walk away and attack that archer for... Clearly, I will have the superior melee skill. Yeah. Superior melee skills. Ooh, what the... Was that a throwing weapon thrown all the way over here across the arena? That's kind of crazy and awesome at the same time. Give that man a raise. Oh no, I've been stabigooched. By a spear, no less. One does not simply stabigooch somebody, which is a word I just made up. Okay, yeah, I went down. They checked that javelin with actually terrifying accuracy. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty crazy. Not as really sure if it was intentional or just a lucky throw. Okay, yeah, I actually wanted to get some uh, skill into my bow as well. Oh, yeah, I really did a lot of skill into my bow. There. Hey, Gelf. How are the holidays? I'm going to say short. They were short. I feel like after the holidays, I need another holiday just to recover from the holiday. But nah, I'm good. I'm good, eager to uh, start the stream. I was a little bit scared of uh, starting today with uh, Baldur's Gate. I'd like to ease in and go with a comfort comfort pick, which is uh, Bannerlord. So here we are with some Benny Lord. Yeah, they are always short. Besides that, I've been uh, spending time with family, spending time with friends, in-game, and playing a lot of Valheim in my free time. And, uh, you know, the uh, the good old faction Genshin Impact Honkai Star Rail addiction. Well, addiction, I'm just playing the game. A lot of content in that game, holy hell. But yeah, yeah, I'm mostly enjoying Valheim. Uh, we've reached... Mistlands. You've been on a Valheim kick? Okay. Uh, does that mean that you've been playing it or that you've been taking a break from it? Yes. No, no. Don't worry. This is exactly like wrestling. It's totally fake. That is just ketchup. This is a prop. It's an attachment for my shoulder. Don't mind the blood. That guy that received the headshot clearly is perfectly fine and okay. He is in no way, shape, or form injured, nor dead. Don't work. Don't don't think about it. Just just don't think about it, man. I need to get to a corner. There it is. Yeah, if you, you've returned to Genshin as well. All right. Out of curiosity, what's your main DPS? And did you by chance get oh no. Did you by chance get uh the new chick, Navia? You think you have a problem become a modaholic in Bannerlord? That's fine. As long as you're enjoying the game and it's you're not making it too easy for yourself, um enjoy, Fizz. Enjoy. Any good mods out there that you might want to recommend to people? S some must haves? Get yourself smoked. Oh god, why? No. Got him. Nice. Sir? Oh, okay. That worked. So you've been playing it. Okay. Uh, with uh, Guilt, have you played Valheim with friends or just solo server? Then again, Navia, as your for many fans, you would say Dia. Oh, I love Dia. As a character. Haven't played with her, then get her in the gacha. Otherwise, the game's too easy. You were a day one player? Damn, son, you a veteran. Cool, cool. Nice. How do you beat uh, Room... Tw uh, sorry, the um, fourth stage of the... Um, Depth Dungeon. I'm not exactly sure what's the official name of it. I keep on uh, defeating the first uh, three... 
floors? Chambers? Oh, the first three chambers, but I can never get to uh, win on the fourth chamber. I just get my ass handed to me on uh, floor one. I guess I just need to grind more. Alright, uh, playing solo, but you don't love playing with others. But all your friends are playing new stuff. How dare they? I also heard that Valheim's modding community is a deep rabbit hole. My uh, friend fell into it, and now he's constantly telling us and asking us, Come on, man, just install one mod, man. Just, just one mod. We can just install one mod into our shared server. <laughs> yes, Abyss. Yes, how do I deal with Abyss Floor 12? I just can't. I'm getting, I'm getting my ass beat. What's the strategy there? Um. Now the problem that you have um, modded several playthroughs and some of them completely bugged out a few hundred days in the game, and you have to start over. Yeah, you got to be careful. You just got to add. Oh God! You just got to ease into it. And then see which ones work and which ones don't. Also, have multiple saves, Fizban. Don't Iron Man. When it comes to mods, just have multiple saves and just fill as many save slots as you can. You've not beaten all the bosses, so you're first to add mods until you do. All right, Gilth. Uh, a man of my taste. I'm I'm doing the same practically. That's why we're not really delving deep into the modding community of Valheim, because we just want to finish the base game with uh, the problems that the game is currently giving us. Ah oh, man, my dick was too short. Essentially meta units, plus level 90 and good artifacts. It's a big DPS check that they reflavor every patch or two. I see. Uh, what about talents? Are talents uh, a last priority? Am I okay with just having talents level 8? Learning ho... <laughs> Learning how to load order those mods. Oh, I see. I see. I'm sure it's a bitch. Oh, hello, sir. Could you not shoot me? Ouch. On most units, you can even get away with level 6 talents. Oh, God, okay. I see, so just level 90. Uh, level 90 for the DPS or for also the off field DPS? Do they practically just receive a reduced in damage? Also, uh, for those who are watching my playthrough for the first time, uh, you have to understand something. Like, I played so much better, Lord, that I'm just going through the motion and I'm bored of talking about some of the stuff here. Um, practically, I'm just going to give you guys a plan of what's going to happen. We are going to uh, play in the tournament to so just gather up some money to buy ourselves a bow and two quivers and a horse. And then we're going to hit the road. We're going to hit the road and we're going to start traveling and maybe recruiting a few soldiers. Um, going to start trading and going to start finding a companion who is decent or a good candidate for becoming a blacksmith. Once we have a blacksmith going, uh, we're going to start uh, leveling him up in the blacksmithing department to start making money. We're going to be making money out of smithing and trade, and we're going to be trying to winning tournaments uh, to reach clan tier 2 as fast as possible so we can join a faction as a merc as soon as possible. Once we're a merc, um, and on the way of becoming a merc, we're also going to be getting a small elite force that we're going to be utilizing to carry us, and uh, we're going to be using to leveling up all of our intellect skills. So that's going to be the plan for Bannerlord. Now, back to what we were talking about. Uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, level helps with damage reduction enemies have based on level difference. Okay, so there is a damage reduction level difference. Got it. So it's going to be useful for off-field DPS as well. Not so much for the uh, support, the full support uh, character in the party. Got it. I think I can get away with level 80 support character healer or shielder. Should be fine. One suck. Oh my goodness gracious, I'm gonna die here, aren't I? The fact that I can't spam a 
shield bash anymore really hurts me. There we go. Uh, I can't... I can't win. With a... With a spear in melee, I just can't win it at all. I'm better off just giving up. See that? He doesn't even need to block. I just can't do damage to him. So the idea would be to push him off me with a with a shield bash, you know. Or survive until somebody else gets to me so I can... Uh... Or he also attacks me. There it is. Good. Yeah, I can stab you now, huh? Not fun, huh? Not fun. Okay, so what I need to do now is I need to push him off of me and buy myself enough time to pick up a weapon. No, never mind. Um, Two-handed swords are the way to go for money from what you played. Yeah, but I think we're going to be relying mostly on orders. Uh, the orders are going to be giving us a lot of money as well, specifically for the two-handed swords. Yeah, one of the most popular teams of this day is Mana Jangling, Genio, and Animo Unit. Okay, which one's the driver in that team? Because I could make that team happen, Mana Jangling. Oh, I think Jangling is practically the on field DPS. And the Animo Unit would be Gene, because I don't have uh, Venti. Going a little bit back to, um, going a little bit back to Valheim, uh, we are having difficulties finding dungeons in the Mistlands. There's just no dungeons anywhere, man. Can find squat diddly. Um, okay, that's not good. Give me another one of those. Hello, sir. Don't mind me. I was just grabbing the ammo so I can win. Oh my god, I can't win anymore. No, I'm dead. Or not? Get away from me! Shoot him in the back! Come on, shoot him in the back! I'll hold him! Yes! Thank you! Give me your- give me- come on, come on, come on, come on! Yes! We are ready now. We're ready to finally fight it up. Or not. Uh, da -da -da. Animal unit can be Sucrose or Kazuha. Don't have Kazuha. Do I have Sucrose? Or anyone who can apply a lot of it. Bennett drops his ult for attack boost. Jangling sna snapshots with her ult. Uh, Jingyu ult. And then Animo drives. Okay, so Animo practically swirls everything up. Got it. Do have both uh, Sucrose and Jean. I also have Sayu, and I think everybody receives Lynette. Oh, and I also have that uh, Wind Archer chick from the desert. Uh, Farina? Fariz? No, not Farina. Fariza? Fariza? I, I can't remember her name. I think she's a uh, she's more of a uh, animal buffer. Farazan, thank you. Yes. You can tell that I haven't really pay played with her very much because I don't really have a DPS. I can replace um, I can replace uh, the Animo unit with Hu Tao. I do have a although that uh, arm that army that team combination would be very very good for AOE chambers. I mean, Sucrose is just going to be lighting up that entire room with everything. So practically, it's a it's a vaporize, it's a vape comp. <sighs> also, for those who think that Genshin Impact and uh, Honkai Star Rail um, are games for weebs, you're absolutely goddamn right, but they're also incredibly fun from a RPG story and min-maxing big numbers perspective. There you go, get stabby. Yeah, now that he doesn't have a shield, he's not really so hot anymore, huh? Okay, come on. I got him! 
I got him my first kill with a spear, man. It's my first kill with a spear. Holy hell. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Save me. Save me, Mr. Spearman. Okay, you're not saving me, Mr. Spearman. They work together. They were in cahoots with each other. Thanks. Uh, let me give my wounds a little bit of time to heal. Did we level up Botch? No, we're almost there, though. We're almost there. We will need to establish a clan. We will go back to the practice fight. And win. Nah, I'd win. Can I get a replay of that, thank you? I have the spears now. I am totally hitting them with this. Oh, I actually hit somebody. Nice. Now I'm going to go into my little corner. And just, uh, goblin walk. Yes. This is my corner. Yes. Practically what I'm doing right now is I'm focusing on getting the money. So we're just biding our time, waiting. Hopefully not getting hit. Gobbo walking. And then uh, waiting for the enemy to come to us. Yes. The reason why we're staying right here is because, because, is because, because, we are on the door itself. We are denying the spawn point to the enemy. So no enemy can spawn next to us. And it's also providing us with a lot of vision across the arena. Part of it, so that's good. Best case scenario would be to have sword and board with a bow and arrow and maybe some throwing weapons would be great. But, uh, or, sorry, not bow and arrow or throwing weapons would be great. But hey, right now we're just going to handle ourselves with th two throwing weapons and a sword. I believe in ourselves. You know, after not playing the game for at least three weeks. Clearly we're gonna be we're gonna be uh doing good. Let's see. So eighteen opponents remaining. I'm just gonna cheer for uh the underdog, me. And it should be fine. Yes, phone, what is it that you desire no. In a few days, you're back. Uh, you got all the Dendrocoli and the uh, Finnish Fontaine Archon quest. I think you won't take Farina off of your team ever once you get her. I actually have Farina. Uh, got her in her uh, release event. And I have a uh, almost... F no, not not a full. Um, an almost Pokemon team with Farina and... Uh, oh, okay, so. Hu Tao DPS. Farina sub DPS. Um... What's the electric archer chick? Fischl. And then as support, I have a Zhang Li because he has the biggest, I mean, biggest shield in the game. Owie. Yeah, I, I gotta dodge. There we go. Until somebody nails him. Okay. Come on, man. Direction when he releases turn. Direction when he releases... Oh, no, that didn't work that time, huh? Uh, yeah, there you go. Good, yes. 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 Ah, success. Hi. Oh, oh no, please. Yes. All planned. We now take his sword because it's a better sword. And I have nothing. Okay. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, come on. I got him. I got him. Yes. I mean, all planned, yes. Haha, -ha, totally. Totally had that in the bag. I was not worried one bit. 
So yeah, that's my current DPS squad. All right, so final point into one-handed. Good. And now we will never ever touch the combat stats ever again. We're practically going to be ignoring uh, all vigor, control, and endurance stuff, and we're only going to be focusing on cunning social intellect. Well, specifically, social cunning and then intellect third, in that order. From here on out, I'm going to be putting a final focus point into... Uh, am I going for charm? Now, I'm going to be filling uh, up leadership and charm. Uh, trading still has a lot of room. To be honest, all of them have a lot of room to grow. All right, all right, okay. If everything has a lot of room to grow, let's just focus on things that are not growing as fast. So, probably I'm going to be putting points into roguery first on the next level. And then in the rest of the stuff. Yeah. Do I want medicine to grow as well? Probably. So we're going to be filling up all of the these five. Tactics, roguery, charm, leadership, and trade. Not in that order. It's going to be practically, if I were to take one um, in order of importance, it would be leadership, charm, tactics, trade, roguery. I think that's going to be the order with my current knowledge level. Um, so need to test out how useful roguery is going to be. You know, if you're going to be prioritizing um, one thing, you're going to be prioritizing leadership first, and then charm second. But I think I'm not going to be prioritizing one to level up super quick. I'm just going to be putting points in all of them. And the way I'm going to be deciding which, point, which focus point gets uh, put where, I'm just going to be looking at the learning rate. And the skill that has the smallest learning rate will be receiving a focus point to buff that up. And we'll see if uh, we're going to be able to level up decently that way. All right, and then afterwards, once we have those five dealt with, I'm going to be putting um, focus points into Medicine and Stewart. Yep, that's going to be it. So how many levels do I need? One, two, three, four, five, six, ten, fifteen levels. So by level 17, we're going to be having all of these filled up. Good, and then by level 27, we're going to be having everything we need. Lastly, I'm going to be, if we reach over level 27, I am going to be getting um, last of the focus points into engineering. So that's going to be the plan. How much money do I, or have I acquired? Also, es pressing escape did not register my level up. Of course it didn't. Now it registered my level up, right? Good. How much money do we get? 1,275. What can I get with that? Can I get... I don't think I'm ever going to be able to equip a simple short bow. I think it's uh, the mountain bow for me. All the way. Hmm. Okay. So a large bag of arrows, Botkin. I'm probably going to have to travel, but until I can find uh, some place to give me a mountain bow. Uh, how about horsies? Midland Palfrey Charger. No, nothing. It's going to be a little bit of a struggle. Tavern District, there's nobody here. We're going to have to go to another city to uh, get my hands on something. Right now, we can't really deal with uh, any bandits. No crossbow here either. We need to quickly get my hands on. Uh, if I remember correctly, there's nothing to buy at Poros for right now. So... I think I'm gonna be traveling to S Sargot? I think that's the name of the city um, in Battalion Territory. Let me quickly check. No, Sionan. We're going to go to Sionan and uh, we're going to be buying uh, wood from there. As for Honkai Sarrel, you just got spooked by Bailu. What do you mean you got spooked by Bailu? I think Bailu was the first 5 star that I've ever got. Ah, useful healer. Until I got um, uh, the most recent. Killer, the the fox spirit check can really hua hua right got hua hua which replaced by Lou a little bit good solo uh, T 
team sustainer. Can't really do it on the higher difficulty uh, trials. Forgotten Halls and... Uh, in Forgotten Halls and um, Simulated Universe Final or Maximum Difficulty, um, I, I need two healers, or well, at least a tank and a healer. You took a long pause until now after you got Kafka. Oh, nice, you got Kafka. I need to get my hands on her. And I'm a I'm a sucker for... Um, let's try to win, which is not going to happen. I'm going to try it. All I have to do is have some fun. So, the idea behind this will be to make them waste their ammo, and after they ran out of ammo, we stab at them. I'm sure they're going to be having some rock throwers up in there. Ooh, that's a lot of rock throwers, actually. So, yeah, I, I really like um, dot teams. Really, really like uh, damage over time effect uh, centric teams. Uh, but I didn't get Kafka. I didn't get the damage over time specialist. So I'm practically, I'm just stuck with um, Sampo and with uh, either Serval or Guanfei. I also have um, the physical guy. What's his name? The redhead. You've got to appreciate the early engineering perks with uh, Forbury Cunning Mod. You can still skill them early to a point for you, and all commanders will be luring bandits out of their hideouts. Ah, okay. So I guess that's a good mod, sure. It makes uh, engineering viable for early game and not just for government and siege. Alright. Any other benefits? So the thing is, we're going to need to dodge all of the rocks until they run out of ammo. And then we will slowly poke them around. And hope it's going to be fine. Does a lot. Alright, cool, cool. Interestingly enough, uh, when I engage these looters, I I'm going to be honest, when I engage these looters, I automatically assumed that I have a ranged weapon equipped. I did not, so practically my brain just went into autopilot mode again, which is a tendency that it does. It, it's a tendency when playing a banner lord. So yeah, that's why I've kind of engaged these looters without giving it a second thought, or actually not even a first thought now that I'm thinking about it. Hey, Eric Nader, happy new year, my man. We're back with the Bandit Lord from Humble Beginnings. If you want to do a crime playthrough, it's really great. Okay. Does it, you know, does the engineering skill allow you to open the gate and infiltrate cities more easily? A higher chance of success? Something like that. Come on. Run out of rocks, damn you. Come on, good. All right, one one more to go. There. Good. They're out of rocks. Now let's gain some distance, and we're gonna try to do some uh, spear thrusting drive bys. Or die. I guess that's also an option. Well, hopefully our writing is going to be increasing decently. Thought you said you want to prepare a playthrough so we don't have to go through this phase again. Uh, just the first stream is going to be uh, through this phase, just to get people accustomed and have an idea of what I'm doing. And then I will be playing a little bit off screen. Yes, so uh, for us to skip a, skip a little bit of the early game, which is the most boring part of Bannerlord, where we just grind, our loot, uh, grind out looters until I die of boredom. Um, I'm going to be playing this playthrough a little bit offline just to grind, get some money, get some levels going, and then I'm just going to be continuing from a little bit earlier on. I'm sure people won't mind, because 
I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it's gonna be around 12 hours of just doing this, only with a ranged weapon and some extra soldiers. Just fighting looties. And that is gonna be not the best content. But let me know in the comments. Let me know if uh, you guys actually want to see the grind or not. To be honest, you don't know everything that mod does, and has a lot you haven't tried, like scamming villagers and stuff. All right, that sounds fun. In what way are you scamming them? All right, got another one. Ooh. Come on. I think it's enough for one of them to block, and I can't actually hit anybody. Slowly poking. I mean, eventually one of them is gonna fall. Come on. Sweet. Jesus. Crikey Christ. I think each one of them can take around five hits from a spear thrust, so uh, yeah. It's gonna be a while till I manage to get through all of them. Now imagine, could the AI be programmed to do what I'm doing right now? I think it's impossible. I mean, I'm kind of barely doing it. Tiptoeing on the edge. Okay. Holy hell, are they regenerating health or something? Why hasn't it... There you go. Thank you. Finally, one of the... Oh boy. Actually went down. Do I get all of the... Uh... Experience and achievement and renown if I win this. Can you post a link to the Nexus site of Forbury? Um, well, it's not really going to be helping me because I'm not going to be installing it, Fizz. But, yeah, if anybody is interested in that mod, sure, link it away. C come on. How were your holidays? Anything interesting happening? Did you find any new video games that you want to go through? How's life treating you, boys? Come on. <sighs> Slowly, steadily, this is how a life is taken. Please. Let me poke ye. Don't rush. Don't rush. We're doing fine. Am I perfecting the skill? Am I perfecting this method? Not well? Oh man, what happened? Come on. Don't tell me you were on call and you had to work for the holidays. Okay. Come on, dude. Well, I could try my luck with a sword. Well, that, that, but don't, oh, I mean, okay, sure. That worked. So, are you being vague for, uh, for you? It's go doing good. Uh, you got into your internship, uh, as for a games rogue trader, having some funny situations with your navigator, uh, turning a room full of enemies inside out while the rest of the team, uh, twiddle his thumbs. Hmm. 
That sounds fun. I mean, if I remember correctly, Rogue Trader is a CRPG set in the Warhammer fan, uh, Warhammer 40k universe, right? Hopefully it's good and fun. You were for like three days for the past tw two months. That sounds awesome. A legendary falchion is now in our grasp. And that's practically doing uh, 10 extra damage with a swing speed of 99. Do I want that? Uh, yeah, and came out recently. I would warmly recommend. To be honest, I have to go through so many CRPGs, just so many, and I'm I'm currently starting with Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition, um, or um, I think it's Enhanced Edition, right? Yeah, so I'm really starting with Baldur's Gate, and I'm gonna have to go through a lot of them, and probably all of them. So it's gonna be a while until I reach uh, Road Trader. We'll see. Um, some of the features are infiltration and assassination, a scheme room, outlaws, pit fights, and pickpocketing, and sabotaging sieges and stuff. All right, dude. All right, that, uh, the mod sounds awesome. I will try it someday. It's fun what Buggy runs on adapted version of the, um, tabletop RPG rules. Okay. Have you never played Baldur's Gate 1 and 2? No, I've never played Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. Uh, those were just uh, CRPGs that I never got into. Until now. Yeah. I am the the looter now. I'm probably just going to be grabbing that fashion and selling it for money. Uh, track number seven, thank you for raiding with 28 members. Welcome to Hit Point In. My name's Raval. I'll be your bartender, and I really hope you guys enjoy your stay. Brings around me today. And Happy New Year. Because it's quite early in 2024. That's not great at all. Uh, you start to get really bored after uh, the first two weeks in. I guess. You still have to show up for work liked two way more than one though and that's perfectly fine man we all have preferences that people will judge you for but you just gotta ignore it <clears throat> how am i i just started my first stream of the year my dude just getting back on that horse and trying to eat it how are you doing what have you been playing have you also been playing uh bannerlord nice we're almost at level three that should be fun. Uh, I'm going to be ignoring those nine looters because I now remember that I don't have a ranged weapon. So the fact that we defeated eight looters uh, with a spear and a horse is lucky. I'm going to go with luck. Ransom that one prisoner. There's Borcha Coalbiter. Hey, nice. We actually found a smith. That was faster than I thought. Okay, Mr. Borcha, come with me. My name is Caesar or Cesar, and I can use your skills. There. And I will need probably all of your clothing. Probably. So get naked. It, it's just think of it as a rite of initiation. Now, let's see. Oh dear, it's actually quite worse. <laughs> Interestingly, it's worse. There, he is ready. He is ready to serve. Nah, get yourself the military tunic. Uh, there. It's gonna be fine, rusty tapered blade. Sitting on 37 cut, yeah, that's not really gonna be cutting anything. Although the speed is so nice. Get yourself a legendary falchion. We'll see how you... Oh, God, it's so short. No. No, I can't. I can't. Especially since they're going to be probably be... They're going to be probably participating in combat on horseback. I can't just give him a falchion. Not in good faith. Although he does have a lot of athletics, so he's much more accustomed to being on foot. Two-handed sword. 
throwing weapon, but he also has ten and a bow, so he can become the archer. So it should be fine. Okay, uh, trade. Let's sell what we got. Probably gonna be breaking down that fellowship for the material. Hey, Cronkaft, what's up, man? Just bought Bannerlord after 4k hours of Warband. Can't wait for ben Pendor to come to Bannerlord. Yeah, to my understanding, the developer of Pendor plans on making his own video game. He doesn't want to make a Pendor mod for Bannerlord. He wants to make Pendor the game. So, um, stay tuned on how that is going to be developing. Yep. So you brought, you bought Bannerlord for nothing. I mean, well, of course, for the other mods and for the base game and stuff like that. Yeah, it, it does sound interesting. I really hope he's going to be successful. I really, really hope it's going to work out for him. Okay, we're definitely going to be needing two Midland Palfreys, and I'm going to be needing a... Can I get a strip leather harness? Oh my goodness, I can barely afford that. Hmm. He didn't buy it from uh, four POP, so... You're okay with it? Perfect. All right, man. No worries. All's good. All's good. I was mostly joking. Mostly. All right, so give me that horse. And Borcha. Oh, man, his name's Borcha. Good. You get a horse. And so I'm probably going to be giving you... That short militia spear. Do you have any experience with two-handed? Uh, I mean, you have experience with two-handed weapons, not with uh, spears, though. I uh, gotta say, blade is really good in uh, in Honkai Star Rail. I actually have Jing Liu. Never really got my hands on blade. Uh, I did did a wish a wish warp for him uh, this time because I know that he's currently on. Uh, on the event card, but uh, he didn't come out. He didn't come home, as they say. Although I did get uh, Ron May. Hey, Gelt. Yeah, I found my blacksmith. It was literally the first, well, second city that I visited, which is nice. And I don't have to call him Smithy. I'm just going to call him Borcha, which is also nice. I usually, whatever his name is, I usually just call him Smithy. A little a little nice nod to uh, the the TV show The Recruit as well. Even though you do decide to make it as a Battle Lord mod, you are still a few years too early. That's also true. Yeah. That's going to be a while until they integrate uh, and make it as good as uh, the Warband version. I I'm going to be honest with you. Um, The uh, Prophecy of Pendor mod for Warband is still, I think, the best mod for Warband. And maybe the best mod uh, for not Bandlord as well. <laughs> okay, no, never mind. That doesn't make any sense. It's fine. It's fine. I'm just salty that this game is not finished properly. And doesn't even have half of the uh, features that Warband has. Okay. Uh, let's see. Next step would be to check... Well, actually, next step would be to try and uh, enter the smithy and get some orders going. Nay. Oh, maybe? Maybe? I can get that two-handed and that throwing axe to work? Oh, that'd be swell. I just need to get my hands on that stuff. Which I can by breaking these down. All right. Let's see, you boys have any of them hard wood? No, they don't have hard wood. How about some... Uh... Ah, they don't have any wooden hammers, which would have given me the necessary wood to work with. Just a ranger bow, nothing. Nothing that's going to be providing me with what I need. Okay, uh, let's do a one arena, which is going to be giving us enough money to go to the next town. And we'll see what we're going to find there. There. Uh, to get it to Pendor level, you need a lot of complicated mods, which is hard to get stable. I... I guess so, yeah. 
you be patient, Rev? They're surely fixated in the next five to ten years. You know, being patient is not really a problem with me. I could be patient. I'm okay. But it's you, peoples, who keep, uh, keep complaining about it. Okay, why? Why are you working together? This ain't fire. Okay, you're... I'm gonna try to... Okay. Come on. There you go. Stab him. Get him. Help me. Yes, you're helping me. Good. Yes. Keep poking him. Oh my god, he's actually pushing me. Hey, sir? Sir? It's rude. Not rude anymore. No. Ah. I don't think I can defeat... Th I... Yeah, I, I can't defeat this guy. Even if I were to maintain my distance. Oh, uh, maybe? Maybe. I th maybe. The big if. But I'm just gonna get shot from the back by somebody. And there's nothing I can do about it. This guy is maintaining that side. Unless I just backpedal... All the way to the oh no no please ah to the door. Ah, okay. It's fine. There's enough video games out there. Hmm. What other video games you know that can um, scratch the uh, Bannerlord itch? Well, you know, besides Warband and uh, the related mods. Jesus Christ. Stop, he was already dead. There, I can just uh, smack him now. Oh, sir? No. Come on. There you go. Nice. Now I can sit here and shoot people. Eventually. You guys know any of those types of games? For example, I guess uh, uh, an example that comes to mind is, interestingly enough, Star Sector. It's a sci-fi game and uh, you control a fleet. Kind of similar to controlling an army. While you're controlling only one soldier slash ship. Uh, yeah. Battle Brothers could work. Sure. You could say it's uh, kind of in that category. Uh, X4 also comes to mind. Where again, you're just one dude and you are controlling a fleet. Slash army. What about War Tales? Does that fit the bill? Also, what about uh, Conqueror's Blade? Has anybody played Conqueror's Blade? Which, if I remember correctly, is a MMO RPG. So I'm not exactly sure if it just fits the bill properly. Oh god, I almost shot somebody from the from the crowd. Yeah, the X-Series in general would be good for that. To be honest, I tried playing X3 and I just couldn't gulp the graphics, interestingly enough. Nor could I grasp with the controls, but uh, it was easier to manage in X4. Really enjoyed my uh, minor flotilla mining the entire system. Oh god, I actually hit somebody. Nice. Did I miss that? Nothing really approaches the overall campaign experience. I mean, something that's a little, at least close. From a uh, customization of armies perspective, I want to say the Total War Warhammer series also kind of fits the bill. But in that one, you're just controlling the entire army and not just giving out orders. 
So it's more, it's closer to an RTS rather than an RPG, even though it has RPG elements. Uh, if that guy with the shield gets close to me, I'm probably dead. We'll see. Yeah, no, I understand, but it still scratches the same itch. I'd say. Ah, he just smacked the ever-living daylights out of me. Pathfinder games? Uh, we're going into CRPG territories. You're not really controlling an army or a nation or a faction. Well, technically you are controlling your faction, but still. Total War straight up uh, strategy? Yeah, but when it comes to Warhammer, it really gives you a lot of uh, variety and, you know, equipment and RPG elements for the commanders. So that's why it kind of maybe gives that vibe a little bit of micromanaging a uh, kingdom. Well, let's go with that. Uh, X3 was hard to learn, but very good once you master it. Uh, would play it over Starfield any time when you get that space... Space Sim itch? I see, but it's not really itching uh, the Bannerlord itch, huh? My turn. Ow! Good talk. And thanks for the fish. Man! We lost that arena. We were almost... There. Normally the campaign layer is pretty dumbed down. Uh, in X4. Not too different. Okay. Hmm. Well, I really hope Saxon Dragon or somebody else brings a competitor to Bannerlord. I mean, how hard can it be, right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It, it's... I'm not a video game developer, I don't know how hard it would be to program um, an, an active AI that you can order around so they can fight individually and perform properly in a cohesive army environment against another army that's supposed to be giving itself orders and fighting against you or alongside you and so on and so forth, so yeah. Pardon. Oh, actually there is... Okay, so this is... I guess an older series, but maybe it checks out. The Dynasty Warrior slash Samurai Warrior series. With a small little parenthesis on Warrior Orochi, if anybody touched that one. Ah, take that. I like his sword. Is that a chipped sword in the tip? I doubt it. No, please. Please. John, please. Okay. It's the mix of strategy with a personal involvement from your directly controlled character. Yeah, that's it. That's it, yes doesn't really provide you there's no really other video game or other franchise that provides you with the same feel unless you know it's a multiplayer dedicated video game um like Mordhau or something but you do, you can't really you can't really uh strategize there unless uh you really have a, your own community you can see parts of mountain blade to be made into uh decent decent games but the complete package hmm yeah, I know. Man, I'll give this. Oh man, could, could you guys give me a sword, please? I just want a sword. I feel like nobody's getting a sword. I'm gonna sit here in my corner and think about what I'm not doing. New combat makes the tournaments really hard at the beginning. Indeed. Indeed it does. And that's why we actually in invested uh, three focus points into one-handed so we can handle some tournaments. 
Hey, Spock. Happy New Year, man. How you doing? Oh, good lordy. How many uh, throwing weapons can you take, my dude? At least I got two back. There. Oh, so yeah, as I was saying, um... Not terribly hard, to be honest. Steel Sword could do it in the garage in mid-late 2000s, and the Blumen Tools got a lot better since then. Ah, okay. I guess that could work. So yeah, uh, I was talking about Dynasty Warriors and uh, Samurai Warriors and Warrior Orochi. Practically, it's uh, one of those games where you are one character on the battlefield, you are controlling other soldiers, but the focus is... It mostly focuses on your main character being a one-man army badass god demigod, where you are just beyblading through swarms of enemies. Which is cool, but... Yeah. Uh, you've been better, but that's by the by. And if you want to know, I'll DM you. Okay, yeah, sure, Spec. If you want somebody to talk to, let me know. And uh, should you get Elden Ring? Uh, should you get Elden Ring? Do you have other video games that you could play right now instead of Elden Ring? Ow. Oh, well, I guess I have the bigger HP bar. So just take a bunch of somewhat competent people with a dream. Okay. You like that now kingdoms get destroyed uh, when they lose their last castle or town? Oh yeah, I 100% agree on that one. We're really like that aspect. Hell, it's about time. But uh, they made it that way. Sir. I will be with you in a... Oh, God, he has an axe. Okay. Uh, no. I don't want to be with you. No. You cannot be my hero, baby. Oh, Lord. Please. C could, could you not? Thank you. Yes, you deal with that. Okay? You've dealt with that. Good job. Now, I will... I wanted to deal with him. You do want to get it, and you do... But you want some more variety... So you don't want the Dark Souls experience, you're saying. So you want a more variety in what way? Uh, you don't want a slow-paced RPG? Or you want a different genre? Could you please elaborate your statement, Spec? You want a Souls-like game? Good. I assume there's a but coming. But you want a good RPG that isn't over 10 years old. So I guess Elden Ring fits the bill. What about... Is it Godslayer? Godbreaker? Soulbreaker? Uh, I don't know. Armored Core? You know that most are. Does it matter if they're more than 10 years old? Is it a graphics issue? Nice. Oh god, I got a sword. I just realized I have a sword. And I am at 5 HP. This is going excellently. Swiggy swoogity. Living on the edge. All right, people, let's help Spectre out. A Souls-like game that is a good RPG that is not over 10 years old. I think Dark Souls 3 still fits that bill. Does it? Not really, just more the case you would feel the uh, feel of modern designs. Oh, oh you could try to play the Souls-like uh, anime games that uh, came out. The one that comes to mind is... Oh, good God, why am I so bad with names in the recent years? Because I'm getting old. Um, 
You own Dark Souls 3. Okay, well, that just, uh... Yes, you could try Code Vein. And besides Code Vein, there's also, um... The sci-fi one. Well, another sci-fi one. Oh, God Eater. You could try the God Eater series. There's God Eater 1, 2, and 3. And, uh, what else? Keyboard support is ass. Okay. Yeah, you could go with Sekiro. You could go with No. Oh, God. That I, that dude with the X sounds like he's saying, Swiggity, swiggity, I'm coming for that booty. Oh, God, I got him. What? I mean, I took... Yes, I planned that. I gotta sit my ass down. There's three opponents left. You're thinking of trying out Kingdom Come Deliverance? Heard that's good? Oh, yeah, that's excellent. That's excellent. I really hope they optimize that game a better. It ran decently, but my god, when I reached a village or a city or a town, sweet Jesus, did that game uh, drop in FPS. But yeah, Kingdom Come Deliverance is pretty awesome. Oh, he actually has a bow. I guess I need to approach this enemy myself. But if if one of those arrows even is in the same zip code as me, I'm probably going to be dead. Oh, he good. Got him. I got him, coach. Nice. It runs well even on your ancient ring. Okay, awesome. Then maybe they've finally optimized it. Good. As I said, it... It had that problem when I last played it. What the hell? Okay. And we leveled up. My goodness gracious. Everybody's searching for me today. Um, because if you don't get Elden Ring, you'll probably just play Bandler for the meantime. Have you... Oh, you said, you said that you haven't finished Dark Souls 3 because of the keyboard. Um, how about getting a controller? I mean, they're cheap. A USB controller should help you out. Alright, you'll play that when you're done with Bannerlord? I'm a little bit tempted to, uh, replay Cyberpunk. Maybe even getting my hands on the DLC. Alright, so the thing that does not receive any learning is roguery. Let's get a point in there. Get that ball rolling. And, uh, we'll see. You thought about it, but you know controllers don't feel right anymore? No, I don't know. I mean, you know, I, I prefer mouse and keyboard over everything else. But, hey, if I have to play with a controller, I'll play with a controller. Especially if the controls are just... But... Alright, we're going to be traveling northwestwards now that we have a little bit extra cash. I still need to get my hands on... Hi, uh, I need to get my hands on a bow and arrow. Just so I can start soloing some of the looters. Um... That's so annoying that I'm not remembering that game. Give me, give me a second, guys. I just want to uh, check... The game that I want to recommend to Spectre. Where is it? Looking at my completed list. Uh, da -da -da, da -da -da, no, 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 Spec of Skull. Red Dead, Rebel Galaxy. Did I not add it in the completed section? Maybe it's on the favorites? So, Code Vein is one. It is... John Hades. Oh, uh, by the way, my brother uh, gifted me Hades for uh, Christmas. Very nice of him. Uh, come on. Where are you? Scarlet Nexus. Uh, this is the Souls-like game. Uh, Sci-fi. And... Uh... 
Well, it's more of a hack and slash, but it has Souls-like bosses. Where you really have to strategize or you are going to get your ass handed to you. There we go. Alright, so back to our game. There. Wonder Soldier's ended. Fuck. Oh, I guess you're just going to have to play what you get. Hades is an amazing game. You recently got in a bullet heaven with similar mechanics named uh, Death Must Die. Okay. Ooh, I almost stepped into some looters. That would have been dangerous. Uh, if you want a... Oh, right. Uh, if you want a Souls-like bullet hell, you could also try to search for Fury. Uh, but it's not with an Y. It's F-U-R-I. Fury. A little bit of a shorter game. You bought a grand total of zero games on this year's sale? Me too! A grand total of zero games as well. Simply because... I have a lot of video games. This is only like a used to. I just have, I just have stuff that I gotta play. Eventually, I'll buy Dark Souls Three now that we finished two. Eventually, the legendary wooden hammer, and the wooden hammer. Okay, we're gonna be grabbing those too, because I'm gonna be needing them. Um. Legendary light bolts. Yeah, later. Probably gonna be grabbing some simple javelins or something to throw at the enemy in a fight. You bought three things that were on sale? Uh, what did you buy? Tempt us. Make us feel the regret of not buying them ourselves. Andrew Smith, the order a two handed maze that requires blunt. Yeah. Any other order? No, nothing worthwhile. Okay, so for now, I will have to buy two pieces of hardwood just to get myself some uh, charcoal. So, but, but, um, does my boy Borcha have the charcoal maker stuff? No, he has the iron maker stuff, which is fine. But it's only somebody with a charcoal maker. Just so, we're, so just so we're efficient in that direction. So... And then break down the wooden hammer. Oh, the witch fork is giving me some hard wood as well. That's cool. Slowly. Good. So now we should have some... Ah, uh, we don't really have the required ingredients to work to make this happen. That's sad. But two DLCs for um, IL-2, Gates of Hell, Ostfurt, and its DLC. What's Gates of Hell? Is that um, another plane simulator? Or is it something else? The spin. Okay. Let's step outside, check the tavern. There's nobody here. Sully, they don't have any bows that I can work with, and we're sitting on 129 gold. I can afford moving to Rote. So let's do that. Let's rotate to Rote. And in here we have. I got some wooden hammers, which are good. Solno Mountain Bow. Which is bad. Gates of Hell is a World War II RTS, primarily set in the Eastern Front, made by the same people who had created Men at War Assault Squad. Okay. Don't seem to remember hearing about it. Is it a little bit on the older side, Spock? Or that it just flew under the radar? Oh, or at least under my radar. There's some hard wood here. It's RTS like Sudden Strike or Blitzkrieg, but you can take direct control of your units and the tank combat is pretty well done. Men at War is an older game. Oh no, I understand that Men at War is an older game. 
I, I know that one. Uh, but what but about Gates of Hell? When did that appear? Also, did Iron Harvest did not make you interested or tickle your fancy? Just out of curiosity, what you got? What did you guys think of uh, Iron Harvest? Okay, so I can make this happen. Let's do that. 119. Yeah, that's not a lot. Um, okay. So Gates of Hell actually came out in 2021. Huh. Pretty new. From here on out, I'm going to be considering anything that, is, that has been created uh, uh, back till 2020 as new. Anything that is beyond 2020 shall be now be henceforth can be considered old. I think that's uh, fair, right? It's decent and you would like to get it, but really kind of forgot about it. That's fine. I will never forgive you, but that's fine. It's okay. I'm sure you can fill I'm sure you can live with the guilt. With a heavy conscience. It's okay. Don't sweat it. Two-handed pull arm. Oh, I can make sh make this one happen as well. I just need three hard wood. One, two, three. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, no. I'm I'm still gonna be needing two at least. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxies for free on Epic. Oh, the the um, Square Enix Guardians of the Galaxy. I heard it's pretty good. Have you guys played it? What's your feedback on it? What do you guys think of it? Order, 200 pull arm. Well, I'm satisfied, but I still don't get much. I really enjoyed the uh, three movies. Really enjoyed Guardians of the Galaxy. Although, I think... Nah. Was Guardians of the Galaxy 3 the weakest one? Was it? Because I enjoyed it, but I also felt like it was just... Filler. Well, I mean, Rocket's story was cool, but... Eh. I guess I... liked it. I'll, go, I'll, I'll swing in that direction simply because I just liked the series overall. Okay, uh, so that gave us not really much. It's giving Borcha some... Is it? Is it, though? Is it really giving Borcha skills? It's not. He's not really bringing you the big bucks yet. So I guess we're going to hit the road. And we're going to go to La Jetta in the west. Man, I don't think I can handle... Nine looters. As I said, when we fought against those eight looters solo and won, I feel like that was more luck than anything else. There. Kareed the Engineer. I do not require your skills, Kareed. You can go back to Prince of Bel Air now. Poojis, sure. I like them all, but three might be your least favorite. I think the first is the best to me. Yeah, yeah, I think I agree with you. Um, simply by the fact that I can't really remember much from three, uh, I'm going to say that three is the weakest, or my least favorite as well. So I will take it. Rock blades, tries when throwing. I'm tempted to just slap. Three throwing throwing knives up in there. And just use those until I find myself a mountain bow. Because I can't really afford going for a uh, crossbow. Hell, I can't even utilize these. Okay, I can utilize the simple light crossbow. 
lot of salt's gonna be taking me a lot of cash to get that going. Anything interesting in the smithy? Uh, throwing axe. Okay, so the throwing axe might be giving me... Oh, yeah, all both of the throwing axes might be giving me a lot of cash. I just need to get myself, you know, just free steel from somewhere. Which I think I can get from that Puccio. I just need them extra money. Um, do they have hard wood here? Yeah, they actually have cheap hard wood, so that wouldn't be a problem. Okay, so if I were to get steel, I would be from the Puggio, and what else? From the tribesmen? That's 458 a pop, and it's just one. So I doubt it's going to be giving me enough. Maybe I can create from the less leftover? So I need steel. Refine. Okay, I can make steel. Maybe. Maybe that Pooja is going to be giving me enough. Or not. <clears throat> I guess let's, let's do... You know, a quick, a quick ar arena one. 20 minute adventure. In and out. One thing you touched lately besides XCOM is Aurora 4X, since you got it, this has got a bunch of bigger updates in December. Alright, cool. Isn't Aurora 4X that, um, Warhammer 4X game that was created by a one developer and it's still being worked on to this day? And is it that the one? That's the game for only for Turbo Autists. Yeah, 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 that one. That's fine. What about Dwarf Fortress? Did you ever get into it? You know, speaking of a uh, game for, tur for Turbo Boys. Also Factorio. Apparently that one is uh, going down that rabbit hole as well. Oh boy! I can dodge your arrows. Oh my goodness gracious, man! Okay, that dude knows how to shoot. Okay, maybe not. Sir? Oh! Oh god! No! I have been ba- I'm not as sure what hit me. Oh, it was the blunt. You could play with a Warhammer flavor, but it isn't based on any existing IP. Ah, uh, okay. Alright, sure. We finally have the right uh, gear to win this. I will hug this door. I, I am just a small little shield. Uh-oh. He wants a small little shield. You had to stop playing that for a while because you were building fortresses in your sleep. Yeah, that's what happens when you just play the same video game over and over and over and over again for a prolonged time. You just start dreaming of that game. And it's incredibly vivid, and you don't feel like you rested at all when you wake up. It happened to me. I think the most recent game uh, that did that to me was, I think, Star Sector. I would just, I would be dreaming Star Sector, just uh, trying to squeeze out uh, juice out of ships, man. Or was it X4? I think it might have been X4. Pretty uh, pretty much the uh, space uh, forex equivalent of Dwarf Fortress. Mm -hmm. No, no, I, I understand. Good, that's another one down. Yes, yes. Little Gobbo will take your lives if you come to my lair. No ranged fire, that's cheating. No cheating. How dare you? How dare you cheat? Why you cheater? Why are you a feline jungle hunting savannah cat? Uh, 
Bad cheetah. Oh, come on. I wanted to go for a horizontal slash, but no. Oh, no. I left my safe spot. How dear I. Oh, no. Mustachio man. He is serious about this. Oh, no. Please, come on. Yes. No. Maybe. Stop it. Come on. Before somebody gets here, you... He's so good. No! Are we going for mega skills? Ah, finally. <sighs> there. Oh lord, that dude's throwing stuff at us. Oh no! Oh no. Oh no. Please? Yes! Good. Glorious. We her ha had it. Good. Let's see. Uh, ba, ba, ba. I wonder if there's any mods for making the practice arena better. The profit skill gain is just so low, it's a massive waste of time. A bit, yeah, Cassandra. But I'm still doing it because it's the only way for me to get a quick buck so I can buy anything. Even if it was just uh, swapped to dueling with weapon select so it could be used for practice, I think it would be better. Hmm. We're waiting for the adventure mode. I think that'll release it in April. Adventure mode for Dwarf Fortress? Wasn't that already a thing? Where you're just one dude and you're going through a randomly generated game? Good. We won. Let's see if we can make we get, if we can transform this money into something better. So, I, what is that? Gi okay, so um, a giant piece of cat fur uh, was slowly floating down towards my mug of water. That would have been annoying if it actually fell in. Ah, big sip. So, throwing weapon, we need steel. And for that, I need a Pooji. And I'll need some hard wood. Gucci. Now, let's see. What can we do? So we now have one steel, five raw fire, and I can maybe get away with making some iron oh no 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 no! Yeah, yeah we can do it we can do it i just need some more hard wood uh it was a thing before the steam release but it's been disabled since then maybe maybe the developer just found a mega bug you could use arena overhaul should be configurable there cool thanks fizz so i have three of that you boys have any of them? You do have iron pitchforks. Does the iron... Oh, no, no. I don't have enough money. Does the iron pitch... Can I sell anything? What do we get? Shrewd heart... Blah, 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 blah. I can sell the fine steel. It's not like I'm going to be using it just yet. So I'm going to go with that. You know, I downloaded X4 again, uh, wanting to have a space game that you get to get into and have a nice capital ships. Okay, yeah, go for it, Spec. If you want, I can try and send you some, uh, some guides that I've been reading. They're nice, uh, before bedtime reads as well. Um, that kind of give you some hints and, uh, pointers on what fleets to use and stuff like that. I'm not exactly sure how up-to-date that they are, but again, they're a pleasant read. Yeah, I'm the type of dude that just enjoys reading guides, which is weird. Maybe that's why I'm making them, although I haven't made one in quite a while. So, trade. 
What did we get? Enter Smithy Smelt. No. Yes, maybe no. I need to go to trade, I need to go to melee weapons, and I gotta get those two pitchforks. And then we enter the smithy and we break down those two pitchforks, which are not really giving me anything that I need. Ah, so that was a waste. So we grab Borcha. He makes one charcoal, and then with this one charcoal, I refine iron. I need to refine three. Man, I don't have enough to refine three. Unless I make one of these. Okay, I'll make one of those. And now I can refine three, but I need three charcoal for that. Alright, um, and for me to get three charcoal, I am literally scraping the bottom of the barrel right now. Trade horse. We will sell that center horse. It is the way. Is it the way? Wait. <laughs> There's no more hard wood here, so I don't think that's the way. Uh, let's see. Super Sparax. Hatchet Sypho. Battered. No. Sell town clothing and buy and butcher pigs. Oh, the town clothing. But I don't want to be naked. I'm probably going to be selling the iron. No. That's fine. See, ooh, yeah, that's actually very cheap hogs. All right, let's buy a hog. We go into the inventory and we butcher it. Does this still, does this still work? We get all like we get one meat and then I sell that one meat for four gold profit. Yeah. There it is, boys. There it is. It's not worth it. Oh wait, does it give me hides as well? Oh, it does give me hides as well. It is worth it. Yeah. Can't believe this actually works. All right, let's buy a few. Oh, no, no. I can't go in depth just yet. Ba, ba, ba. Where, where was, in which mod was this trick last used. I want to say Perizno. I think I used the uh, buy cows slaughter cell trick in a Perizno. Could it be done in Pendor as well? You guys remember? Man, it, people are just lazy. They don't they don't want to put in the time to uh, slaughter their pigs, man. Just, what is this? Good. All right. Now, that's going to be giving me enough money to... Hey, Gova. How you doing, my man? Uh, that's going to be giving me enough money to not buy a tribesman throwing dagger. Which would have probably solved most of my woes. All right, is there a town here? Yeah, Montos. Let's go to Montos and buy some hardwood. We can do it. Buy produce. Sure, that's a good price. Balls to the wall. There. From there. You've ever played the adventure mode um, in... Uh, Dwarf Fortress, and have no clue what's new, uh, but they had a lot of graphical and animation stuff to work on, converting all the possible content the game has. Alright. Intent Social? Uh, yep. Practically, we're gonna be going, uh, Social Cunning into Intellect last. That's gonna be the plan here. I did invest three focus points into One-Handed, um, just to be capable of defending myself because of the AI rework, and mostly we're gonna be focusing on Leadership Charm, Tactics, Trade Roguery, Afterwards, I'm going to be putting points into Stuart and or Medicine, probably both. That's it.
I remember checking out the post steam release and hating the new job assignment system. Okay. Also, the dwarf therapist is dead. What? Is the dwarf therapist the innkeeper? So, enter the smithy. We select our boy Borcha. He is going to be refining some hardwood into coal. Then I'll just wait. Do I have the option of reaching 25? No. Hmm, maybe? No. No, no, I don't think I can reach 25 smithing. Because if I can reach 25 smithing, I could be the one who makes the coal. Just to be as efficient as possible. Good. Then we need to refine steel. No, we need iron. One, two, three. And then we'll need the steel. A little bit more. You gotta do it, Borcha. I believe in you. Good. We now have the required steel. Now, all I need to do is get one hardwood and one charcoal. So we need three more hardwood. Let's go back to Montos and get that. Uh, two attack, zero focus caps at 18. Yeah, indeed. That's why I Welcome can't really back. get 25. Happy New Year. Hey, sub. Happy New Year to you too, man. Thank you for resub and sub. How you doing, man? Yeah, you struggle a lot with balancing combat training needs with uh, crafting needs and so on. I think I'll be fine. Practically, what I what I just want to do is I want to reach around 100 uh, one-handed just so I have enough uh, attack speed to defeat my enemies. That's all. Hopefully this is going to be enough and it'll help. Worst case scenario, I just put two extra focus points to get to 150. Yeah. Back to work always sucks after Christmas break. I agree, my man. I agree. That's why I'm starting next week. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I just grabbed a little bit of extra vacation. I'd let us give some handling skill as well. Uh, a bit, yeah, but it's fine. I'm not really going to be investing into anything in there. Right, yes, sub, you do owe us pussy picks. How's the cat? Did you get that little critter? So, my produce, bup, bup, bup. Good. The cat thing fell through. The greats. Long story, but the cat's still on its way. Okay. Sure. So you're going to be giving us pussy pics in 2024. All right, man. All right, I mean, it's a long year. We just started. You have a lot of time on your hands, but don't disappoint, okay? Don't disappoint. We actually, I actually went to the vet, vet today with our cat. Uh, he got... He got a cold. He just got a upper respiratory, uh... I'm gonna say inflammation, man. He's just, he's just a little bit snotty. He's feeling a bit snotty. Which is a very old reference, but it's fine. Nice! It actually paid off! Got 3.5k out of it. With a probably around 1k investment, so that's cool. Should capitalize on it and get a second kitten with it so cats can socialize together too? No. Get a one cat. See how you can handle yourself. See if it's the animal for you and if you can take care of it properly. And then decide if you're going to be going for two cats. Your daughter may be allergic to cats. She got messed up uh, when, when you went for it. You could try to go for a... Uh, I think they're called Sphinx cats. They don't have the fur. But they're a little bit on the ugly side. I'm sorry, they are. I don't know. I consider them a little bit on the ugly side. Um, But yeah, that might be a problem. Aren't allergies... Uh, 
capable to be kept under control with uh, medication. You don't have 20 grand for a cat like that? I would be surprised if you wouldn't find some in a, in a shelter somewhere. Because they're a little bit on the ugly side, people tend to not want them. But of course, I am in no way, shape, or form in America, so I'm not really sure what's the current shelter situation for a cat over there. Yeah, I think so. Uh, hopefully she can take uh, meds and be around them. Okay, yeah. I learned that you can take meds and control your allergies from Life with Louie. If a cartoon said it, clearly it must be true. Alright, yeah. Depends on the severity of the allergy. If it's not too bad, people are going to use it to use, get used to it despite allergies. Uh huh. Okay. You know, there's something that just came to mind. It would be so cool if you could be a weapon smuggler in this game. Practically go to a city uh, where there's a smithy and you buy cheap weapons, and then you go to another city, let's say a city that rebelled against their leader, and now there's a shortage of food, weapons, and everything. And uh, you just sell weapons there. Be awesome. Did I post a schedule? I'm gonna get back to work. Go back to work, my man. Uh, it's gonna be Monday to Friday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern European Center Time, like usual. The first few months will will suck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, uh, I, I'd still go with the medication, though. Or if you trade weapons between empires for profit? I guess. That'd be cool. Oh, no, I am up tomorrow. What do you mean? How can a cat possibly be ugly? Oh, they can be ugly, man. They can be ugly. I mean, look at look at the sphinx. Look at the furless cat. Well, that's not a pretty cat. I, am I biased? Yes, I am. If you get through it, it only ever becomes a problem again if you don't have exposure to it extended time. Yeah, that's true. Weapons probably don't have a uh, variable trade due to the raw amounts of weapons you get via combat. It mess with the calculations just too much. Now I, I understand, Cassandra, why they why that's not a thing. It would be fun though. It would be fun. Just be the Nick Cage in uh, Bannerlord. I don't actually remember Nicholas Cage's uh, character and. Uh, Something something were weapon smuggler bullets. It had a cool bullet poster. I don't remember it. Lord of War. There we go. That's the one. Thank you. Me continuing to prove that I suck with names. Yes. Not so sure why that's a thing. I just I guess don't put enough effort into remembering names. Wish is bad. If I see a name, I will remember it. But. Yeah, it's a me problem. It's a me problem. Okay, well, we got some cash going. Uh, let's probably get out of here. There's no bows that we can get. I'm gonna walk to Marineth and Sonin, and hopefully we can find mountain bows over there. The mountain bows should be giving us the chance we need to fight. Really? They just ignore them and they're running after me? Yay, we went past. Good. Let's move. Oh, hey, it's Kelly. Hey, Kelly. What's up, man? I want to talk with Kelly, video game. Why are you pathfinding me into the walls of the city? Stop there, street. Hello, Kelly. You look like you've just been to the opera, and you really like the uh, big lady that could sing. Do you want to become a big lady that can sing, Kelly? 
Bye, Kelly. Didn't mean to offend. Uh, what's up, Borcha? Oh, my men's wages are late. Uh, I'll consider this. What? Did I just receive experience for not giving him money? Fun. I don't know. I don't know what happened over there. We got a Sumter horse. All right. Now we're cooking. Well, not really by much. There's not really a lot of weapons here. There's a Masterwork Mountain Hunting Bow. This will be my weapon. This will be the eternal weapon that I will utilize. It has been chosen. Hey, Jake. What's up, man? And we're going to be grabbing arrows. And we are now ready. We are now the combat god of god. Also, Borcha, congratulations. You get a short militia spear. Have fun. And, well, I bought those iron pitchforks for nothing. So I guess I'm going to be selling them here. I'm going to be needing... Ah, I guess I can buy some extra arrows for Borcha for later. So I'm going to be getting that. Can he utilize the simple short bow? That's a negative. Not yet, at least. All right. Uh, enter the smithy. Any interesting orders? Uh, the chat. No. I don't think the javelin is going to be bringing me much. And by much, I mean nothing. 200 mace. No, because it requires blunt, and I can only make spiked two handed maces, which is. A bit stupid. A, 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 a bit stupid. But I'll allow it, for I have no choice. So, let us go. I am gonna fight the looters and test my metal with the mountain bow. Oh no. Not your lucky day. Good. Good, I actually thought that I would fight uh, 29 looters. I'd like to start with a good old-fashioned amount of uh, 9, please. So what's my accuracy? Oh, God. Okay, okay, that's better. It's still shish, but it's fine. Your parents had a chihuahua that had won several prices, uh, pr uh, prizes with a Z, at a dog show. Uh, to me, it was the ugliest and dumbest dog you'd ever seen. Didn't like it and felt terrible for that. It's fine. If you don't like a dog or a race or something, it's it's okay. You know, when it comes to dogs. Oh, this is going to be fun. You can have preferences. It's okay. It's fine. People will judge you for that, but it's fine. You can live with it. Oh, good lord. Okay, I have to get closer so I can shoot them. So I am just going to wait for them to run out of rocks. Like usual. But now that we have a bow and some arrows, um, we should, in theory, be capable of getting some extra cash off of the looter's butt cheeks. I don't know, it's a thing. I'm not exactly sure why they keep the cash on their butt cheeks. It's weird. Do they pick their rocks up? I don't. Sometimes they pick them up, but eventually they'll just run out of ammo and uh, just run towards me. These kind of dogs are crimes against nature. Are the Chihuahuas? Nah, they have their place. They're cute in their weird way. They just have anger issues. They just have problems, man. Oh my god. I can. I really hope I can hit at least a third of my arrows. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, a quarter. Of my arrows, please. Hey, there it is. What? Oh, God. 
They don't though, that's the problem. They don't have anger issues? What do you mean? They have attitude problems, they're highly aggressive. Or are you saying that they're not cute? Ah, to be honest, I think I think both the Chihuahua and the Pug are just a result of uh, too much uh, too much breeding. Uh, we went too far with them. They're not healthy. It's bad. The porch is down. Everybody's crying. I'm not even sure if a Chihuahua is capable of reproducing properly. Well, not for the Pug, if they're capable of reproducing properly. Imagine breeding a dog that can't breathe on purpose. Yeah, what was up with that? What was the idea with the pug? Just getting a, a cute couch potato? Did somebody watch Lord of the Rings and they're like, you know what? I just want to make a golem, only with a few extra pounds. Just can't imagine how that creature had won prizes for anything other than behaving strange. It couldn't even walk right. It walked sideways and backwards. That's amazingly adorable. I don't know, man. Okay, uh, what were the prizes? They don't have a place in the world? Okay. It was originally bred as a family dog for kids. Well, I guess it's a success there. It also teaches kids some very valuable lessons about, uh, you know, life and death. Pretty much, it's heartbreaking to look at photos of bulldogs uh, from 100 years ago. Such good-looking dogs, even the pugs. Mm. I understand. I think there are some efforts uh, being taken um, for both bulldogs and pugs to be um, bred back to a more stable physiology. I'm not exactly sure where I read that. I think it was somewhere on National Geographic Wild. And I really hope they succeed, because... Come on. They deserve a place. Inbreeding is a lot of a thing for animals? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it is. It is. I do not know how you could start modifying a breed into something a little bit more healthy, but hey, it can be done. And there are other people who are much... Definitely specialize into doing so, and I hope they succeed. It's not a rule that immensely fucked up, and for these poor bastards, mere resistance is pain. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I understand. I mean, I do get that their mere existence is pain, but they're still cute. They look cute. Which is, again, fucked up. I. Yes. And now they be need they need to be bred in such a way that they regain health. Slowly but surely. There. <sighs> we won. It's a good thing that the enemy doesn't know the meaning of fear. Nor strategy. Uh, yep. Give me that. Legendary Tatered Rags. No, no, no. It's Tattered Rags, I know. Uh, yeah, sure. Give it to me. Leather shoes. I, mean, I guess the leather shoes are a little bit better. Better chest. Uh, 20? I don't think so. Let's go back to Marinath, check the tavern, ransom the prisoners, trade and sell that pitchfork, and the armor. Good. Oh, wait, do we have more than... Nope, we don't have more than one, that's fine. Alright. Listen, if they went to school for strategy or tactics, they wouldn't be peasant looters. Fair point. They'd be mercenaries. Manhunters. Alright, social southern. 
So at this rate, we're going to be getting social 10 at 16. At level 16, it seems. Okay, that's fine. Except there's no incentive for uh, the organizations responsible to do that. They would rather perpetuate the breeding system that only generates them further. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, as I said, I've seen organizations that do take that responsibility and they do want to uh, bring the pug to a more stable state. And not just the pug, the bulldog, the Frenchie, I think, the Sharpay. Because um, the Sharpay has skin problems, even though he is super snugly adorable. Still, not healthy. Uh, who else? I think there were some um, heart conditions uh, with the Great Dane that need to be modified. Um, some joint. A lot of the large breeds have joint stuff. We will see how, is how we ended up here. Okay. It's awesome and cool to bitch about it, but what can we do? all of them really German shepherds are busted now huskies etc I guess so okay so learning 4 4 8 50 9 75 225 I want to get that ball rolling but I don't know if it's a good idea yet okay get the tactics rolling a little bit there we go. Now let's wait here for some time. Wait for those looters to F off. Check the smithy to see if there's anything interesting and there isn't. Aw, uh, do you have any cheap hardwood here? Nay. I think I'm going to be finding a lot of cheap hardwood at Sionan. Most humane thing you can do for them is to put them out of their misery and then string up people responsible. Good luck with that. To be honest, I wouldn't put them down if they can still have a remotely comfortable and happy life, sure. But, you know, that takes a decent amount of effort and money to do. Okay. And I'm not even sure if the people who are responsible for this are still alive. The ethical thing to do is get a cat and watch a genocide songbirds. Oh, yes. Kaladin1, thank you for subscribing, my man. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to Hitpoint Dead. Well, that's what we did. We got a cat. Although he is a indoors-only cat. Because, uh, sadly, we are right next to the hospital over here. And the roads are incredibly congested. And I just can't see my cat survive out there. But what about the songbirds, Eric Nader? What about the songbirds, man? Don't you think of the songbirds? Won't you think of the songbirds? Cancel their piloting license, I guess. Another masterwork hunting, bleh. Yeah, that could work. <clears throat> and ready okay Borcha here you go have fun hopefully you can hit anything and done enter to smithy select Borchy Borch and okay uh, those have the potential of bringing us money that would be fine. We just need hardwood now. That's not a lot of hardwood. It's cheap as hell. But still. Well, they don't only suffer. I've seen some very happy bulldogs, even old ones that had problems breeding, but full, uh, full of life. Yeah, exactly. You do? Every time you're throwing a half-eaten carcass into the trash? Okay, Arignator. Alright, you enjoy those songbirds. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree with Fizban. Again, I'm, I don't. I disagree with Eric Nader. The the dogs shouldn't be put down. They should just be provided with the best life they can have. And if they are in constant torment and suffering, then it is a humane thing to do. Is to put them down. It's, it's sad. It's effed up. But this is. I'm gonna say the right way. With my current mentality, this is the right, right way. Let's see. Ba -ba -ba, Lola Leaf. No. Is there nothing that I need to grab from here just yet? Grab the hard wood. Let's go to the smithy now. We select a Borcha. We create the charcoal. We kill the tampered blade. And then, do we have enough to make something? How much for the two-handed? 107? Alright, let's try the two-handed axe. Yeah! We're probably gonna get our pay cut. Let's do it. So they need... Longer. Stronger. Okay, yeah, that doesn't work. Yes! And they cut all of the pay. My goodness gracious. All of the pay has been cut. Right, one second. I really need to stop the vibrate on this phone because uh, it is hardcore. Let's just mute it. There we go. Mm. Nope, so wants a uh, blunt. We're going to move away from that. Let's go to Auburn and Flintol again, grab their hard wood. And then we're going to go and sell that hardwood somewhere else. Yeah, we're exaggerating just a bit. And if they can live out of their life pain free, there's always someone who is happy to adopt. Yep. Agree. Another produce. Yes. Yes. Good. Now let's try to sell that somewhere for a profit. Carbanseth, I choose you. Although we are a slow boy. A very, very slow boy. We need some horses. We need some pack mules. We need some love. Sacha the She-Wolf. Sacha is kind of a combat character. Nah. I will eventually need a combat character, but I think I'm going to be focusing my brother in that regard. In-game brother. Trade. Let's see. What do you got here? Two wooden hammers. I can make those work for me. Another hunting bow. I'll take another mountain, uh, mountain hunting bow. First. And another two quiver hammers. Practically... Um, stock ahead for the next companion. Might need expensive medication and a special diet? Yes, they might. We just need to hope that the owners will be responsible to take the right decision. Sometimes the right decision is just to not adopt a pug at all. You know, unless you have the budget to keep one happy. Uh, ten for- ooh, wow, actually very cheap hardwood here as well. Uh, okay, no cheap horses. I want to try and see what do they have for sale at Dinan and Glintor. Do they have any pack mules there that we could, uh, get for cheap? Um, enter the smithy. A pike. I'm not even sure. Is, is that worth it? Not really. Alright, leave. Let's go to Glintor and Dinan. My medicine is now three. I'm a medic man. Sumter horse mule for 172. If I remember correctly, that's a bit on the expensive side. Can you still find mules at 60? Or is that the pipe dream? Has that been nerfed? Oh, that's expensive. That's more expensive. Um, it's. Up by uh, 24 dinars. Oh, 
How you love dogs, but you don't have enough room and money to care for one like you do want to? Um, ditto? I don't believe that dogs belong in an apartment. Unless, interestingly enough, they're a Chihuahua, a Pomeranian, or one of the smaller breeds. Um, I feel like dogs need room to run and play, and they're better in uh, they're better if their owner just has a house with a with a courtyard. No, oh, not not courtyard, just a yard in general, in which they can just uh be fine. In the apartment, nah, nah, son. We have a cat though. Fifty is low average for mules. In mid late game, I don't remember when they stabilized though. It's okay, we'll just uh, be patient. We will be patient. So 50 is still the price to look for. Got it, thank you. Alright, where do we go? I guess I can go to. Let's see if Rovald wants to buy wood. If I remember correctly, um, Empire towns require wood. But let's try our chance at Robalt. Um, I can take on five looters. We're not looking for a fight. We are. Don't worry. We're looking for a fight. I am apparently in command. Let's uh, go. Let's go, Borcha. You and me. That's oh, a beautiful map. I love it. I totally meant to hit that guy, yes. Totally that guy, oh my god. Come on. They also raise taxation for dogs, where you live, because the city has to make money, it's ridiculous. Taxation for dogs. A yearly or a monthly taxation? You literally have to pay money to own a dog. I mean, if, if, if it's for health insurance, sure, but... Ever since we adopted our first cat, we stopped having issues with uh, pests in our garden. That's cool. Well, it's hunting down the moths and the mosquitoes in our house, so that's helpful. Although, sadly, uh, when uh, when our cat sees a moth and a mosquito on the ceiling, it comes to me and asks me for help to lift it up and hunt it. We, we are an acrobatic duo, where I lift the cat up and then the cat swipes on the, on the ceiling. It's adorable. And I love our little uh, circus act. And we will take it to town. A yearly tax. Okay. Weird. What's the reason? What's the reason behind this uh, taxation? Why? Oh, he actually got he gained three skill points into a uh, bow. Nice. Four. He can hit it. Okay, maybe he's gonna die now. Yippers! He just shut down. No free dark for you, fuck you. I, and that's not a reason, so don't. Don't even do that joke. Although it's funny. Another thing is we have problems with way too many cats uh, that are wildly reproducing. No tax. Horses, no tax. I don't get it. Okay. Is it to fund the... Pound? But that doesn't make sense. Our cat mostly leaves dead road at the doorstep. It's thank you gifts. Ah, oh, that's so sweet. Also, there's a possibility that they might think that you're not eating properly, Eric Nader. Your cat is like, put some meat on those bones. The wind's blowing you away. Nothing but skin and bones. Put some mouse into you. 
Hey, a tournament. And that's going to be our first one. Yours leave dead birds. Um, I mean, okay. Uh, we have around eight of them around the house. Why haven't you thrown away the birds, Zerk? No, it's not a gift. It's a warning. This is what happens if you ever give me away. Yeah. Don't you dare. I will escape the pound and hunt you down, Eric Nader. I will get you. No, no, no. Eight plus cats. Yeah, I feel like beyond two is too many cats. Beyond two, so two plus. Is too many. Why do you have eight cats? My dude. I feel slightly stressed with one cat. Because I'm paranoid and overprotective of it. I don't think I could handle three. Two baby. Three? Uh-uh. Three's a crowd. Well, Germany, we have taxes for everything. Some of that doesn't make sense. Huh. Don't even start. You somehow lost ten kilos in the past six months. That's a good thing. You good, Herodator? You healthy? Hey, it's fine if you live in a big house in the countryside. Oh yeah, if all of the cats live outside of your apartment, sure. You know, if you have a barn and they're barn cats, and if you if you have a big yard and stuff like that, if it's a farm, sure. If it's an apartment, I don't know, man. I don't know. That feels a bit much. Or blacksmith hammers. I can't remember the blacksmith hammers were good or not. Oh, uh, you boys wanted the... Oh, they do. They want some... do want some of that heart. No, they don't. It's 12. Why? They don't even have any. Wait, no. Do I have... Oh, no, I have 12. Okay, no, it's actually a good price. Sure. We actually made a point into trade. We're gonna go and buy more. But first, we're gonna wait until morning and participate in the tournament. Which uh, may or may not go well. Let's see. With this amount of health, it's probably gonna go bad, but hey, let's go. Well, when you arrived here, we had one, uh, then two female ones came around, then one of them started bringing her kittens each season. Yeah, uh, you gotta, you gotta neuter and spade them, Zerk. Don't, uh, don't you guys have, um, phones? No, uh, don't you guys have, um, city hall programs where, um, neutered and spade operations, uh, get subsidized? Is that not a thing? Where you're from? I feel like every, I, I feel like all uh, all cities should have that that type of program. I ate, your I ate his liver. What, Mr. Pikeman? I feel like you're going to be a little bit more skilled than me. Ah, he was. He was. Yeah. I don't know what happened. You're still not as skinny as you used to be decades ago, but still probably... Not, not great. Okay. Are you doing any sports? Are you just not eating properly? I'm acting like I'm your mom. Ah, oh, yeah, of course. He breaks through. Shit. Okay, hardened crossbowman. Do me proud. You can do this. I believe in you. Yes. No. Shit. We lost. Alright, tournament's over. Leave. I guess I have 25 at the polearm, which is nice. So what do we got? 2% damage with pole arms while mounted. 2% uh, damage with pole arms on foot. Uh, sure, give me cavalry, I guess. We're going to be mostly on horseback, so I'll, I'll take that one, even though I don't think I'm going to be equipping a pole arm. 
I might later, but not right now. Uh, let's go back east. I'm gonna go try to get to Glenthrig and see if I can get a good price of hardwood there. I'm gonna be bringing it, bringing it back to Rovald because it seems they want the wood. Uh, try contacting your local shelter. They often pay uh, for it just so they don't have to deal with unwanted strays later down the line. Oh yeah, that's a good idea, Aronator. You could try that, Zerk. Trust me, if if you're going down this rabbit... If you're going down this rabbit hole, Zerka, you're going to be ending up with 80 cats, not 8. Maybe a little bit of an exaggeration, but yeah. 20 for the hardwood. I can still make a profit off of it. Uh, how much for the grain? Yep, yeah, no, 18. Uh, it's a bit on the expensive side, but we can make it work. Drop by at Carbon Set. Actually, I haven't really visited Dunglanis yet. Let's see. Stuff? Uh, Ronsi. No, it's a fast horse. Not a pack mule. Um, 18 for the hardwood, that's fun. Cheaper here than it was at the village. Okay, uh, what about the smithy? Anything interesting up in here? Two-handed mace. Um, let's check it out. No, nope, they want blunt, so we can't do it. I should do it. I want to have some cash going, I should do it. I just need some extra iron. That's gonna mean I'm gonna be needing... Mm. Mm. And that should do it. Order two handed mace. Good. I just want to unlock the uh, blunt head. Which is not going to happen because I'm going to be getting all of the pummels of the world first. As you do. Clearly. Clearly. When, when you create a mace, you will be gaining uh, sword pummels for the foreseeable three months of your uh, smithing life, at least. Right? I mean, that happens all the time, right? It's not just me. Tell me it's not just me. Okay, now let's leave and slowly make my way back to Robalt. Come on, Borcha. Pick yourself up, man. I don't know, you started with some uh, basic workout routine this summer, but you didn't change your eating habits for a few years and you were gaining weight before that. Okay, I guess the basic workout routine is burning for you enough calories to lose weight, which is awesome. If you continue losing weight and it's starting to get problematic, you might want to check uh, your local physician or your, your local physician. I'm just saying things might be bad. Definitely, some, definitely nothing that would warrant such a drop. Okay. I don't know, man. I don't know. Nothing interesting that I could make. Let's try and attack those looters. Sadly, Alwith over there is... Oh no, both of them are going to be joining in that fight, so there's no point in me joining as well. Um, haven't really checked the tavern here. Nay. Nobody. Let's go to Ostacan. Hey, the looters managed to get away. What? Stop right there. Yes! I will be the one to defeat oh thee. Eyes. Or at least try. We'll see if it works. Stretch a little bit. Ah. I'm gonna have to do a yoga session after the stream. Uh, yeah, uh, this month we're doing a uh, 30 day yoga series session thing. Um, we're, we're watching, we're following a yoga with Adrian on YouTube and uh, 
each year she does a 30-day uh, January session. Oh my god, I forgot to give that guy orders. Come here, Borchi. Run, Borchi. There. Just trying to get some calories burning. Get some of the soreness out of the joints and stuff like that. It should be fine. Used to be around 60 kilograms where you were younger, so you still got some wiggle room, but you used to sit in high 70s, low 80s for the past few years. <coughs> hey, you're lighter than me. I'm sitting on around uh, 86. 85, 86 right now. Really need to get rid of at least 5 pounds. Uh, no, 5 kilograms, not pounds. That's a, there's a difference. In your playthrough, you could use the villages around Sionan that produce hardwood to get cheap wood and earn a diamond, skill your trade, and smithing quite good. Mainland of Italian Plateau. Probably gonna be doing the same. Where were you selling it, Fizz? Maybe I can maybe I can use that trade route. Ouch. My face cheeks. Did you have a um, fixed location where you would get a good price? Because Rovalt is giving us a good price, but I just can't sell them in a bullet because the price goes down at a point at which I no longer make a profit. Or at least a decent profit that's worth the run. Uh, yeah, but you're also at least a head taller than you. Okay, yeah, that's a problem then. You're a little bit on the skinny side. You might want to visit Grandma a little bit. Make her bring out the uh, Christmas pig. Or at least the leftover Christmas pig, because you know, holidays. All Batanian towns would. Uh, when wood doesn't sell, then charcoal? Oh, interesting. Uh, what's the average price that you sell char? Um, okay, no. What's the high price that you sell charcoal for, and what's and how low do you go? Because I actually never tried to sell charcoal. I'm always skinny, but this is the first time uh, for such a rapid change. Okay, they're all close together. Am I okay? What's the high? What's the low? Give me an idea, my man. As I said, I haven't, I've never touched charcoal as a trade material. Is hardwood worth more in charcoal? Would be my question. I didn't even flinch. Average should be 125. Okay, that's cool. Definitely would make a bigger profit if I had a, if I had a charcoal maker perk. So yeah, I reached one hundred and twenty-five. Sounds awesome. Nice. Right into the kisser. You got to go down to eighty if it sells better than charcoal. Uh, if it sells better than hardwood, I think you wanted to say. Oh my god. Blaze. Good to know. Close. Let's slash at him. I can totally slash at him, brother. Oh my god, please. Get out of the way! Oh, come on, man. All right, charge. There. there are also a few villages where you buy iron. Okay. There's only a few villages that produce iron to begin with. All, sl all close to the towns? Okay. And I'll track. I can't really find a comfortable spot in the chair. That's why I keep on juggling up all over the place. There we go, and worn wraps for you too. There. Hey, Borcha survived. What? He lived. 
he lived. That's amazing. Okay, so I leveled up. I'm gonna be getting, let's see, 525, 4, 850, 975, 7. Okay, it's gonna be roguery. Done. Good. Next. We visit. Ah, let's go to Ast again. Oh man, I could I could defeat those 14 looters. I'm gonna go to Ast again first. Should be fine. The thing is that everything is close together. You might get better prices, but would have to travel a lot more. Mm-hmm. I understand. 28 for hardwood, so that's that's a no-no. Iron ore here is for 61. Apparently I could buy from Legetta for 41. Could buy it Robolt for 29? What? Okay. That sounds fun. Uh, sold the fish. That's a good price. Don't sell the hardwood. Check the smithy. Order dagger. Two-handed axe. That'd be great if they wouldn't cut the stats. What? I can make it? I can fit. Oh, good lord. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yeah, we are. Definitely. Oh, come on. That totally should have counted. Totally. Alright, let's leave. Leave. Right, we actually don't leave because there's an arena here. How are we sitting on HP? Uh, we need a bit more. Sure, let's try it with 50, 65%. Clearly, we will win. Clearly. Yeah. Uh, so, Erdinator, have you thought of trying to go and check if to see if you're healthy? Are your just internal burnings that good? Healthy as an ox? Okay, who do we need to take? Nah, everybody's kind of samey. I think the Billman is a little bit on the higher tier. So let's go. Alright. Funk. Polearm 26. Ah! Lamo vision, but we did qualify into the next round. Haven't been sick in years? Okay, dude. That's good, but again, it doesn't really explain on the decrease in weight. But hey, if you're feeling good, if you're not worried, all is good and fine and dandy and ponies and rainbows and sunshine in the world upon thee. Oh, pl oh god, I'm fighting as a Blandian Volgier. Okay. <laughs> yes, I got so lucky. <laughs> I got so lucky there. Hey, Borcha's fighting. Let's see Borcha in action. His polearm skill is off the chain. And by off the chain, I mean it's totally not, but it's okay. Um, you never caught the coof on like almost everyone you know? Oh, okay. Cool. I don't think we got the coup either. There were a few days where we felt uh, muscle pain that went away after two days, but we never really, you know, tested ourselves. I mean, no, we tested ourselves once and it came out negative, but so I don't know. Those can be weird. Uh, does the trick to the orders, uh, the total value adds up. Like if you have 20 in reach, you can have minus 19 in damage and still succeed. There's a hidden value check as well. Uh, sometimes they want a tier 4 sword. End of your tier 2 one makes the stats and it'll fail. Uh, can tell these by asking price. If it's 100k payout, they want the better tier. Alternatively, sometimes crafting a tier 4 weapon that fails the stats will succeed. Okay, so, um, practically just focus on reach, is what you're saying? Just have the big reach? Size matters, is what you're saying? <laughs> Which is sad. Oh, fuck. Oh. 
Come on. Why am I not breaking through? <laughs> he begged me. I gotta get good. <sighs> okay. Leave. I just thought the suit you bought and can barely fit into is now slightly too big and you had to punch extra holes into your belt. It might need to do it again. Okay. And or buy a new belt. You gotta look slick. Well, as, 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 I, as I said, as long as you're feeling good and you're fine and you're looking good, all's good. Oh, right, right, right. Horse Serg, do you have any horses that you, that you would like to sell to me? Um, uh, 135, which is actually the best price that I've seen until now. Do I invest? We wait. We wait for stabilization. That's, uh, really? Going through the south side? Sure. Let's see if they want to buy hardwood again. You want to buy my hardwood? Uh, I'm not going to go under 30. Should be fine. Uh, no. No, no, no. Didn't want to press the trade button. I wanted to press the smithy orders. Good. Feel miserable, but that's unrelated to your body. Feeling a little bit depressed, Arganator? You good, man? Need to find, uh... Or... Do you need to socialize more, or... What seems to be the problem? Do you require a new hobby? Do we have to fight 16 looters and win like a badass? Hey, why are we here? Ah, no. Maybe we can work something out. Oh, no, fuck you. Okay, I guess we fight. I take in command. Oh, no. The dude wants to fight. Okay. Let's try to provide some support. I mean, there's a high chance that all of this dude's uh, mounts die. Oh, we helped. I got one. Well, I guess it's a good opportunity to increase my one-handed skill. Oh, where are you running off to, brother? There. Good. Battle's over. We got a looter. I guess we got some better boots. Sure. And then Ox Hall. Alright, one handed. Let's see. So, Basher, 50% damage and longer stun duration with shield the bashes. Or 20% handling to one handed weapons. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like Shield Bash is not really as reliable as it used to be. I'm going to take Wrapped Handles. It's complicated, but your work schedule is going to be very busy in the near future, so we don't have time to worry about it. That doesn't mean that it's going to go away, right? Right? Hope you feel better soon, man. Guess I'll go with that. Alright, let's see if they want some of my... No, they don't. No, they don't. Oh, God, they actually have a better price. They have a good price. They have sweet, sweet love price here. We get. Oh, I think it's partially because he had nothing to do for nearly two months. Okay, so practically, uh, you think that you just need to occupy yourself with... Anything. 
work. Have you ever tried of uh, getting a new hobby? If, you know, video gaming is no longer satisfying? Or do you just don't want to put in the effort for something else? I don't know, tabletop figurine painting, you know, it could, it could be video game and games related, or... Go hunting. I'm not exactly sure. Um, to be honest, I'm not exactly sure in my own country how you would go around to get a hunting's license. What you need to do. What are the steps? Alright, let's try that uh, tournament again. Spiked Battle Axe. That sounds fun. Ah! Sir? Yes. Yes! You have the attention span of a goldfish. Okay, that is a problem, I guess. So practically, you just get bored quickly of stuff. Nice. No, 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 no. You stay there. Stay there and keep shooting. All right, I guess I have nothing. Out of curiosity, have you ever tried or were ever curious about doing the little uh, um, chemical hacks for your brain? You know, listen to some music to get some of that uh, happy juice flowing. Uh, go for a walk, stay five minutes uh, in the sun, stuff like that. Maybe if you get the happy juices flowing, it's gonna help out. I am dead. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> you know what, let's kill the uh, crossbowman first. Or at least try. Good. Oh, nice! Actually managed to hit, that's beautiful. Get him out of the way. Oh, you had depression for nearly 20 years apart from a mild medication. Games and music help you a lot. Nice. Glad to see that you actually went for uh, help. You know, you're trying to help yourself with medication. Aha! You thought I gave up hope, but little did you know, I was waiting for you to approach me so I can approach you with the bolt at the speed of... I'm not exactly sure what's the speed for a crossbow bolt. Yes, but rather depends on the crossbow bolt. Yeah, I don't know. I protect so you can shoot. Does it get your happy juices flowing or consider crimes? Well, could you get your happy juices flowing legally, please? Could you? Could you do that for me, please? You know, be a deer. Be a deer and just get your happy juices flowing without crimes against humanity. I know it's very difficult, but do it for me. Yes! Oh, thank God. I didn't want to approach Lissand. Do not want to approach Lissand. Thank you, Vlandian Light Cavalryman. You were the MVP. Oh, no. Uh, probably gonna lose? I mean, he's a dedicated cavalryman, and I'm not. I mean, I am barely qualified to be on the field of battle, to be honest. Oh, God. I mean, we could try to just, uh, duke it out the good old-fashioned, uh, charge way, but nothing like good atrocity to kick off New Year. No, 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 mm -mm. 
I'm good. I'm Gucci. Lord Jesus, please. Someday I will defeat this guy. Someday. Come on. Nice. I will win this time. Or not. Come on. Oh, you Do I just go for the horse? Is that it? Is this what I need to do to win this? I have to go for the horse, put him on the ground, and Jen then also dismount, and then go for a good old-fashioned on-foot battle. And I win, in theory, because I have the shield and he doesn't. Or just try to awkwardly fight on horseback. Woo! No, please. Nah, yay, I got him. I got him. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes. The weird laughing helps. It actually gives you... Two extra damage on every hit. Words to love by. Yes! We won a tournament. We won a tournament. And it was in the first stream. Yeah, last time when we played in the beta patch, uh, it took us... I don't know, around four streams to actually win a tournament? That's embarrassing. Was it easy to do and took a while? Uh, fortunately, you're good with a very low and mild medication. Uh, mainly helps you sleep better and therefore less depression. Very nice to hear, Fizz. Very nice to hear. I'm glad to, I'm glad to hear that you are... Good. So we got the spiked battle axe that we will... Do I sell this? Do I break it apart? If I were to break it apart, what would what would it give me? It would give me steel, which would translate into a throwing axe order, which it will be much more valuable than 1.1k. So yeah, we're breaking that down. There's also a possibility that it's going to be giving me some... Um, Extra parts. Of course, it's it's pommels. I mean, what were you expecting? Actual blade heads? Are you crazy? No. Let's walk away. Uh, do you guys still need some of them hard? No, they don't need any more hard. They don't need uh, hardwood because we literally bought hardwood from them. Let's travel northwards to Rovald. And I assume we're still super slow because of the weight of our yes. Hmm. But that is going to be it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I am going to be playing a little bit offline. Um, just practically going to be doing what I've been doing this stream. I'm going to be visiting. I'm going to be going from town to town, trying to sell some produce. Um, trying to offer my services on the streets in the night. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And I'm going to try to win some tournaments, level up, and grind. And just try to get better at smithing a little bit. Make some cash. Uh, that's it. I'm, I'm going to try to not hire... I'm probably going to be hiring a companion, but I'm going to try to not hire soldiers until I'm back on stream. But yeah, that's going to be it for today. Um, if you guys like this, would like to see the full journey, do let me know in the comments. Um... You know, if, if I should do the grind online, it's either or for me. I, I would actually prefer it on stream because it just gives me more free time to do whatever in my free time. Uh, but yeah, just let me know 
If you guys like what I do, please hit that follow button. It's going to notify you when I stream. If you want to further support me, also subscribe. And if you're on YouTube, I have multiple guides and playthroughs that you guys can check out. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment where it helps with the YouTube algorithm. And that's it. And I wish you boys and girls a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow.